I'm Artifacts of Mars. I don't know if you know this or not, but Obama has overtly threatened the American public with more terrorism. I mean, it's right out in the open. It has to do with this speech on the Orlando shooting. This video is from a Phoenix channel. What I found, I looked around, I tried to find the transcript for this speech. I found the transcript all right, but the part where he threatens us has been scrubbed from the internet. That's right. Either it's been scrubbed or it wasn't allowed to be printed. But he overtly states there's going to be more attacks if we don't accede to his gun control gun confiscation program. He importantly says it. And he mentions that there will be more powerful weapons. And that, ladies and gentlemen, implies that he has inside knowledge. This is an Islamic soldier sitting there in the White House your chickens are coming home to roost. You people who voted for him, get ready. I don't know exactly what he's going to do, but there's going to be a tax that will make Orlando look like uh, a Sunday school picnic. Probably. That's what Obama's saying, at least. He says there's going to be more and bigger attacks and with more powerful weapons. Now, I know we're going to be attacked again. I know that because he's brought a million so-called refugees, Islamic refugees, into our country. This man is a traitor. I can't, I have no words. Now, I'm going to play this clip for you. Uh, find this video. FNN, Obama talks about Orlando shooting, fighting ISIS, and phrase radical Islam. And, uh, it actually, the threat comes between 12 minutes and 13 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. I hope the microphone picks it up. Hang on. It is absolutely true. We cannot prevent every tragedy. But we know that, consistent with the Second Amendment, there are common sense steps that could reduce gun violence and could reduce the lethality of somebody who intends to do other people harm. We should give ATF the resources they need to enforce the gun laws that we already have. People with possible ties to terrorism who aren't allowed on a plane shouldn't be allowed to buy a gun. Enough talking about being tough on terrorism. Actually be tough on terrorism and stop making it easy as possible for terrorists to buy assault weapons. Reinstate the assault weapons ban. Make it harder for terrorists to use these weapons to kill us. Otherwise, despite extraordinary efforts across our government, by local law enforcement, by our intelligence agencies, by our military, despite all the sacrifices that folks make, these kinds of events are going to keep on happening. And the weapons are only going to get more powerful. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a threat in my book. He is overtly threatening us with more attacks if we don't give up our guns. He has got to be removed from office immediately. What the hell is wrong with the Congress? He should have been removed within hours of having said this. It was published on June 14th. He should have been removed immediately from office. I mean, he should have been impeached that day and removed. 
should be 100% cross the board unanimous vote to remove him. Instead, he gets away with saying something like this. That is a direct threat, folks. How's about I uh, play this again for you to hear? Uh, just a shorter clip. Well, there you have it. That is a direct threat, folks. If you're saying the weapons are going to get more powerful, then uh, he's on the inside because he's basically admitting that he knows about the weapons and knows that people are going to use them. If we don't accede to his demands. Now, if it's up to me, I would say we need to start investigating some of these mosques and find out what they're preaching. If they're preaching anything outside of the realm of normal religion, as in worship your God, then you shut the fuckers down. If they're, threat if they're preaching to chop people's heads off, you shut them down. You arrest the imam. And that's the end of that. I'd be willing to uh, wager half of these mosques in this country probably have weapons caches right in them. I'm so disgusted by this. Here we have somebody who claims to be the U.S. president, but he's threatening us. If you're not infuriated by this, nothing else will infuriate you. This is a direct threat. I am so going to call my congressman. This has been scrubbed. The transcript of this has been scrubbed from the internet. I had to work to find the video. Alex Jones had it up, and he, uh, was talking about it. that's the reason the whole reason I know about it is because of Alex Jones. If it wasn't for Alex Jones, probably would not have heard this. And nobody's talking about this. So there you have it. Barack Obama has threatened the American public. Are you people angry yet? Or do you still uh, think that this is a nice guy? I'm Artifacts of Mars. Call your congressman. Tell them to boot this asshole out of there. Tell them to impeach him and remove him. Plain and simple. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. 